Hello everyone and welcome to K-Sport. In the ever evolving world of cricket, where new talents emerge like shooting stars, Jake Fraser Magak's journey stands out as a tale of promise and perseverance. Jake Fraser Magak was born in 2001 and started playing cricket at a very young age, shaping his destiny in the sport for years to come. His big moment was going to come in the Under-19 World Cup where he would go against the likes of Yashasvi Jaiswal. But unfortunately, his tournament was cut short. when he was scratched by a monkey during a team trip to a nature reserve but you just can't stop a man's destiny he finally had his breakthrough season with the melbourne renegades in the 2023 2024 big bash league he amassed a crucial 200 plus runs for the team at an astonishing strike rate and finished as the team's overall top scorer for the bbl that season and another one of his breakout moments came last year in the marsh cup australia's 50 over domestic tournament where he scored a 100 of just 29 deliveries for southern australia breaking abd's record for the fastest one day century by just two deliveries he then took his talents to the uae where he was absolutely monstrous for the dubai capitals he scored a lightning fast half century against the mi emirates and in his outing against the abu dhabi night riders he was smashing boundaries all over his heroics for the dubai capitals earned him his maiden call up for the australian side There, in the first ODI against the West Indies, chasing a modest target of just 87, Jake Fraser Magak made nothing of the chase. He hit a rampant 41 of just 18 deliveries and ensured that this game was the shortest ODI ever played in Australia. What sets Fraser Magak apart is not just his abilities with the bat; he's also an extremely reliable fielder with a catching efficiency bordering 90. He had stepped to any team that he represents, and he had one of the catches of the season against the Adelaide Strikers in BBL 21. Now that we mentioned his cricketing past, let's talk about his present. In the IPL, he was called upon to replace Lungi and Gidi, and he's gotten off to a flyer. In his opening game against the Lucknow Super Giants, he scored a 50, and a 50 on debut is nothing to scoff at. In the absence of Davy Warner, he opened the innings against the Gujarat Titans, and here. He scored a quick fire 20 at a strike rate of 200 and then he played another explosive knock in the last game against Sunrisers Hyderabad while coming into bat in his natural position at number 3 looking at the players with the fastest 50s in this year's IPL Jake Fraser Magak narrowly beats out Abhishek Sharma with a 50 in just 15 balls and he's doing all this in his debut season and amongst batters who scored more than 100 runs Jake Fraser Magak has the highest strike rate Talk about having an impact, especially when you're coming on as a replacement player. While he has good numbers against pace, it's the spinners who should be really afraid of facing Jake Fraser Magar. His primary foe in the Gujarat camp comes up against fellow Aussie Spencer Johnson. Spencer Johnson was able to get him out when Delhi and Gujarat last played each other at the Ahmedabad Stadium, but was absolutely smashed in the process. Will Spencer Johnson have his revenge, or will Jake Fraser Magar continue from where he left off? How well do you think he's going to fare in the future? He's had a blistering start to the IPL and who knows where he'll go on from here. Please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and keep coming back to K Sport for more cricketing content.